Washington and Spokane voters are famously independent, voting for the person and not the party. Voters want to know the person behind the policy. Join host Sulani Madsen as she interviews 2016 general election candidates for local, state, and federal office on the experiences that have shaped their lives. The Meet the Candidate series is sponsored as a community service by the Ponderosa Republican Women's Club, the law office of D.C. Cronin, and We Believe, We Vote. Now, here's your host, Sulani. Hey, well, welcome to Meet the Candidate, and my guest for this session is Candace Mum, who is running for Spokane County Commissioner. Welcome, Hello. Candace. Thank you. My first question to every candidate is to have give you an opportunity to describe the responsibilities and duties of the office that you're running for. Oh, you bet. And I might, if it's okay, just tell you a little bit about myself first, if that's all right. Oh, no, we'll get to that. Oh, you got that later on. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll just jump right in then. So the duties and responsibilities of the county commissioner are vast and very important. They differ from other political offices because they hold both the executive and the legislative mm -hmm. power. So having executive experience and legislative experience is really important to come into the office. And that's something I've been preparing for for a very long time because I'm currently a city councilwoman in Spokane. But the job is different than a city council job because mm -hmm. at city council, it is more policy and legislative and budget oriented. Mm -hmm. But over at um, the county commissioner's seat, the justice angle of mm -hmm. the job, the sheriffs, the public safety uh, is similar to our policing, but with the added emphasis on the justice side and following that that crime and the criminal and the victims all the way through and up including the jail, which is a huge issue um, because it's overcrowded. We have problems with our jail, but we don't just house people from our community. We house people um, who come into our community and offend. So we're really a regional uh, county courthouse, a regional and a district um, jail. And we have a great importance, not just within uh, the city of Spokane, but within the entire region for Eastern Washington. And there's many other facets of this job too I could outline if we had the time. Okay, well, that, that's a really good introduction. So appreciate that. Uh, so just getting to know you a little bit now, let's, now let's get to know you. Where did you grow up and start your formal education? You bet. Well, I, I grew up here in Spokane. I went to Shadle High School. And I worked at my family's restaurants. My family's had the Taco Times and uh, a lot of other uh, full-service restaurants like uh, Fuddruckers and Casablanca and the Rocking Horse Saloon. So I started cleaning parking lots at the age of six, right on Monroe Street at Dad's Taco <laughs> Time and Mom and Dad's Taco Time. And we, the whole family worked, um, whether it was in the back washing dishes or serving people or cleaning tables or cleaning the parking lot. So I grew up doing that and always had that business uh, background. But when I went to college at Pacific Lutheran University, I really was interested in communications and got my broadcast journalism degree. So I became a broadcaster and I worked around the country, but I tended to cover crime and courts. That was something that I really had a passion for because when I was a junior um, broadcaster, a junior journalist, my first case that KJRB assigned me to was the Kevin Coe trial mm. here in Spokane. And if you grew up here in Spokane, yes, you know I did. what the Kevin Coe trial was. <laughs> the biggest thing that had happened to our community, it ravaged our community. Mm -hmm. Women and girls were walking around scared. And the whole community was frightened about what was happening. And so I knew then that I really wanted to do something that would have an impact. And I thought journalism was the best way to shine the light on things that were happening that were not good in the community. So I, I covered cops and courts and, and did that uh, for ABC and NBC affiliates. Uh, here on the West Coast, and ultimately became managing editor here at KXLY TV. And I won an Emmy Award and uh, put that career to rest when I had my family, and then went back and got my master's in business administration from Gonzaga. And I started a housing business that I co own with my husband. And then uh, I got very involved in my neighborhood and worked with my neighborhood council, was vice chair of my neighborhood council, was appointed to the plan commission, and served uh, two terms as president for the city of Spokane, and worked on a lot of county and uh, school issues as well, and then ran for office in 2013 and won and currently on the city council. Okay. Well, talking a little bit about the, the community councils, um, that's a real, um, that's a very most local uh, 
level of government where you're you're facing your own neighbors uh, over issues what was the most interesting issue that you had to deal with on the with at the community level what really got me engaged was when I uh, was uh, first up on five mile prairie and I found out that the county wanted to put in over 230 manufactured homes in the middle of a farm field with no services mm-hmm. it was going to be a senior oriented um, facility no bus service and on some very uh, unimproved roads, they were just really farm roads. And so a high density urban village was being plopped out in the middle of nowhere, isolating people from services and grocery stores and everything, the medical appointments that they needed. And so I looked into the county rules and I challenged them because I found that they were not following the rule in terms of how many houses you can put in per acre. Mm-hmm. I did the research, I did the legal research, I appeared before the hearing examiner, and I won. Uh, They agreed with me that the county had been doing it wrong. So I thought, boy, if, um, you know, a mom on Five Mile can figure this out, maybe the neighbors need to be a little more involved. So I uh, started a newsletter for my neighborhood, brought everybody together and raised funds to save the Grange. We raised funds to get the new Sky Prairie Park up in uh, Five Mile. And uh, we did a lot of other great uh, civic improvements for our community. And I thought, this this is all it takes. I'll put my time into it because it sure makes our neighborhood better. Well, as you were as you were doing that, uh, you apparently got a little more of a of a bug for public service. What was the what was the uh, motivating push to actually step out as a candidate at a larger level? Sometimes as a neighbor, you're one of many voices. What really concerned me is how funds were being allocated. I didn't think funds were being allocated according to the priorities of the community. And with my business background and my finance background, I also was a financial advisor for American Express, I felt that more people should be in office that come from a business perspective who really understand that short and long-term business forecasting and trend lines need to be followed because we really depend on these elected officials to come with that kind of oversight and understanding because they manage so much of our money. I mean, $160 million at the county for our tax dollars. School, excuse me, schools make up a huge part of our tax bill. And so I served on the Mead um, School Bond Facilities Task Force because big decisions about where we're located, new middle schools and high schools and elementary mm-hmm. schools have a big financial impact on all of us. And we want to have a community conversation about what is the most cost and tax effective way to do it, but also what's best for the community. So we put that near where people live and where people are going to live. So my whole hope is in this new role on the county commission that I can collaborate with our partners in Spokane Valley and Airway Heights and Liberty Lake when we're making these big decisions about public facilities. And don't just look at the land cost, but look at the overall cost for long-term maintenance and how we're going to be able to del- deliver a service most efficiently. Okay. I'm going to drop back uh, to that early work experience a little bit. Um, working in a family business is a, is a common theme for a, for a lot of candidates. What kind of uh, lessons do you remember learning starting so young? The customer's always right. Yeah. Customer service is, <laughs> is a critical one. So whether you're a voter, a landowner, a constituent, or just a tourist who's coming through Spokane, when you're a public servant, You're a public servant. And it's not just the voters and not just the taxpayers. You serve everyone. I stopped over at Riverfront Park the other day, and there was a couple visiting from Tampa, Florida. Mm. They wanted a restaurant recommendation. (laughs) So I had to be very fair and tell them all the good restaurants. I think we were there 15 minutes. (laughs) But I I think that does help when you're going into public service is is really that you know that your customer is, uh, is the citizen. Well, we're we're com- coming close to the wrap up, and that would be the final question, which is: you get to an- you get to have a sip of coffee first. <laughs> um, you get to answer the question: Why vote for Candace Mum for Spokane County Commissioner? I think that my message makes the most sense for what people are looking for, and that is that the county and cities need to work better together. Being on the city council, I can see the tensions that happen between different jurisdictions and we can do so much better by being the entity that brings them together to talk about how are we going to grow how are we going to spend our money how are we going to advocate for ourselves over in olympia as a group i have seen a lot of effort and money spent in various jurisdictions going it alone and i think spokane has a lot to benefit by leveraging our cooperation and leveraging our priorities. We may not all agree on everything, but let's find what we can agree on and really 
turn to the county as that collaborative leader that's not telling cities what to do, but bringing them to the table when a decision affects them. And I think we can get a lot more done. Okay, that's a good wrap up, Candace. And I wish you Godspeed on your journey. And thank you for coming and joining us. Today. Thank you so much. And the coffee's great. <laughs> Meet the Candidate is produced in Spokane, Washington by SpokaneTalksOnline.com, which is solely responsible for its content. The Meet the Candidate series is sponsored as a community service by the Ponderosa Republican Women's Club, the law office of D.C. Cronin, and We Believe, We Vote. All Meet the Candidate conversations are posted on our YouTube channel, posted as a podcast on our website, and will be featured in our 24-7 live stream. Find us at SpokaneTalksOnline.com.